All right. We're still out here at the Moore Expo, Springfield, Missouri. We're here with Robbie at Hikers. And they have a whole different category. A lot of this stuff, from what I can tell, retails below 20. Yeah, I, last year our average trailer price across all of our models was probably about sixteen to 17000 Okay. based on how our customers configure it. Um, that's kind of what makes Hiker unique is we have over 200 options that folks can choose from and that's how they kind of get to build around a budget. They can kind of pick and choose what options and features are important to them. I've got to ask, and I'm just asked the obvious question. Sure. Why don't you walk us around and show us a few great points that you guys do. And I know this is kind of an upgrade for you because of the show. Sure. How do you guys price where you're at. Sure, well, we'll start with this one. This one here's a little bit on the higher end because this is for, obviously, it's a flash of show model. But yeah, sure. Right now, this one will probably retail as it's kitted out at about maybe 26000 Okay. Um, and most of that's going to come from your rooftop tent, your larger 270 awning. We do have a 100 amp hour lithium battery system in the toolbox here. That's all in that price, right? Yes. But these are all options that you can choose to sure. add on or take off or come back to us and we can do it later. Probably, so, I mean, that's unique right in the front, right? Is that removable? Yes, yeah, so all of our tongues are bolt on. Um, we do a lot of the lock and roll hitches, the articulating hitches. All of your tongues for all your price points are always that? Uh, the two inch ball is standard. Right. Folks can upgrade to an articulating hitch. That's correct. So they can take it off and you guys put that hitch or there. Yeah, we can do it at the factory or we can ship it to them, but you know. And even the jack. I mean, that's cool because it folds out of the way, right? Yep, folds out of the way. We also do the wheel jacks on the front, the work jacks. So you so give an option to there, There's an option for almost everything you see on our trailer. All right, somewhere we're going to figure out how you can keep your price down. Sure, no You problem. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Keep on going. So if you guys look at the basic trailer, we do 8 foot, 9 foot, or 10 foot lengths. Okay. So the longer the trailer, the price does go up a little bit from there. And the weight. Too, and the weight as well, absolutely. Which um, is the most popular weight, do you think? I would probably say it's a tie between the 9 foot and the 10 foot. Okay. Um, reason being is 9 foot, some people are very weight conscious and try to want to get rid of that sort of sub 2000. So the smaller trailers work well for that as far as their uh, tow vehicle weight rating. Um, but I do hear a lot of customers say, I wish I had the longer one because it's all about how can I store so much stuff. They want to start bringing more stuff. Yeah. How wide are these? Five? Right. We're all five foot wide. That's correct. Either way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then. What's this material? What's the wall? So made the box is made out of three-quarter ply. Okay. It's white birch that we get from, uh, I believe we get it from Spain right now. Wherever. We won't yep. hold it again. Yeah, sure. no problem. And then... Uh, floors? Same way? Floors are the same. We do a polymerized rubber undercoating to waterproof everything. And it also doesn't chip because it's always going to be slightly flexible. Okay. It's a lot like Flex Seal or the you know, rubber spray paint kind of stuff that you guys do. Yeah. Have. I would not row it across the lake, but I, I hear what you're saying. Right, right. Exactly. And what's the outside here? What's and this is just standard aluminum spinning here. What's we your gauge? Uh, you know? It's 040 for the okay. sides. And then we don't actually adhere it to the sides. You don't? We just attach it with the trim on the corners I here. I see that. Why is that? So if a seal were to break, right. the water penetrates. We don't want it to sit against the glue layer and soak into the wood. It'll actually weep out and have the chance to just completely It'll weep just, out of the bottom. Is that why they do? Okay, because some do glue it on. Some sure, glass. some do. You we know what I mean? Glass, I'm used to, you know, right. different ways. Right. So you don't do that. If, so if water, if, but they should maintain their seals, right? Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes, yeah. For maintenance, it's pretty low maintenance. You're always going to want to check your seals probably once a year for most campers. Sometimes okay. twice if it's very heavy to get your sword in direct sunlight. Metal, oh, yeah. wood, what's the inside? And the inside is wood as well. It's, it's uh, birch, white birch. White finished birch, white okay. birch, yep. You guys polyurethane any of this stuff? Um, anything that we do ourselves, yes, but a lot of it we buy pre-finished. Just that so helps. it's a little bit easier and it's a slightly nicer finish than sometimes you could do on your own, so. Are we keeping the price down? Okay, so you've got vented windows here. Um, was there a reason no van on the door? That's an option. You can get a, they can do that you can get a window door, you can get a door with a separate screen door. So, again, that's what's unique about Hiker is just the amount of customization you guys are really that we flexible can do for our customers. For what you're doing. Absolutely. And then your wheels here, I mean, a lot of people ask about that. 31 inch? 33 and a half. Wow. And this is the standard wheel on everything, or these are On this rich? model, yes. Each okay. model will have a different size wheel. Okay. We have four models in total. So they, where can they see all this at? So we have a showroom in Columbus, Indiana, which is also our main factory. Okay. We have a dealer in Lafayette, Colorado. And okay. And we have a couple partner dealers, one in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Okay. And right now, one in San Antonio, Texas. And they're uh, separate entities from Hyper. They just upset them They're remote showroom pickup locations. They order directly to us. They'll help our customers, you know, during pickup, get them all hitched up. And you ask questions. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, like they can go to you guys and buy too, right? Yeah, we only sell direct to consumer. We don't go through 
traditional dealerships. Aside from ones you just mentioned. Right. They're they're brand ambassadors. Gotcha. Not actual dealerships. I love these. Yeah. I mean, again, I know that's an Jacks. upgrade, and that's why we're at the show. But Stabilizer Jacks come standard on our models, right? Just because they but are. This so is important. the upgrade one, right here. No, that's the standard one. On across the board, this ram. Yeah. Wow. But those are actually, if you lower your tire this you can actually potentially change the tire. That's how we do it at the shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how we grease the hubs and you know that's add brakes to trailers. And so here's an area back here, right, Robbie? Yeah. The galley. Tell me about your uh, galley kitchen area. Yeah, this is one of the more customizable sections of our trailers. Okay. Um, so this one is our extra deep version. It's 24 inches deep. Okay. We do a 17 inch version. That's kind of the standard depth, which works better on like an eight foot or a nine foot. That we still have the sure. full sleeping size in the cabin. How do you even ask? 80 inch beds or how big are they inside? So it's about 58 and a half wide. Okay. So it's almost the full queen. Okay. Um, and then depending on the length of your galley setup, I'm Seven. six one. I can sleep in most of Okay. So um, we do a lot of shelving. Um, you know, we can close this off. We can get rid of that pass through there. But a lot of folks like that pass through their reach, you know, storage. Yeah, so if I'm out here with a cup of coffee, I can pass it in. Right, right. absolutely. And then, is, are there kitchen items? Are there anything? So we don't really do any of the installed kitchen sure. items. It's more about, you know, that's your secure kind of base camp, and then all your cooking is done under the awnings or outside. Uh, but we do the slide out trays. We do. The saw that in that other one, right? Yep. So we can do some of that stuff, but we don't like to put the stoves and stuff in there because, again, with hikers, I don't want to sell you a second stove if you already have one. Well, these people are, a lot of them are getting off the ground, right? Right. So, and you're giving that opportunity. Right. To do that. A lot of tent campers upgrading, I'm tired of putting up the tent. Draw my stuff there? Exactly. Exactly. How much is uh, the bike rack? Or 200, 250 pound accessory piece. We get four. Yeah, can't four tow a bunch of hikers in the row, but sure. you know, bicycles, um, step stools, and the rooftop storage are great for those. So this one's here. What's this model called? This is our mid range XL, and it's a 10 foot variant. And XL is because it's because it has larger tires compared to our regular mid range. Okay. It also has a reinforced tongue, and we put a two inch frame width on it to give you a little bit of extra ground. Okay. Tongue. What's this one right here? This is our extreme off road. So this is more extreme. Yeah. That's pretty extreme already. Yeah. So this is our purpose built heavy duty off roader. So okay. this has the frame is slightly different than our other three models. So you'll have the integrated storage racks behind the fenders here. You'll also have the brush guards and the hedges on the front. Can people stand on the fenders? All of our fenders can stand on the fenders. Okay. Keep on going. Sorry about that. No, no I didn't problem. ask that over there. I'm here for you guys. Yep. Um, the other thing about the off-road model, behind the door here you'll see we have an integrated storage rack built into the tongue which allows you to get up to two storage boxes. Um, but you can delete this fridge box from a build, and you actually have a nice wide open rack where you can strap a couple bicycles or you know, uh, try and get a or something up there. Um, it's my, it's my nice storage box. Tell us about this thing. Yeah, we make this This is really neat, right? Yeah, this is what we call a fridge box. So okay. in here, you can fit up to usually about a 45, maybe a 50 quart cooler, depending on the brand. Sure. Um, you can throw a fridge slide in here. We've got one in here now. And this, they can get from you as well. Yeah, they don't have to. They don't have to either way. Truman's one of our vendors. Right. We've got yeah. a good relationship with them. They're sure. really efficient fridges. Um, we work with Dometic, and uh, we're exploring ice cold fridges as well. Sure. And this tray will hold plenty of weight, I yeah. guess, for whatever you design it for. Yep. And then up here? Up here, I've got just another storage rack. So firewood is I keep Firewood. Uh, you can shop things boxes, in as well as spot, right? Storage totes, absolutely. Anything different on the front versus um, the other one? Just an extra battery box in the front. Sure. We have an example of one of the wheel jack options that people can get, so it's a little bit easier to maneuver, especially this if one? in the garage. Uh, um, now this right here, what is the, um, is that, is that an AC unit? Yeah, we have an AC unit as well. We do the portable zero breeze units, or you can do a mounted rooftop unit like this. We were talking about that earlier. Okay, yeah. so, and, and that will run on 12 volt? It's only 110 for the rooftop. That's okay. Yeah. So that's definitely for the short power campers. Um, it's a little bit oversized. Nobody really makes a teardrop size rooftop AC unit yet. Sure. Um, but it, it works really well, it's very quiet. But your campers fit in the garage too, most yeah. of them, right? I mean, the AC might take you out of that, I yeah. guess. Yeah, the, I but mean, even with the AC, most folks can get away with it if they have a slightly taller garage. But the standard height on the uh, XL model without a rooftop tent on it, um, I think you're at 76 inches. And, and, and you say XL model, and then models that aren't XL, well, 
car that high. Yeah, that's kind of the most popular. This one sure. would be a little bit taller, sure, just because of the upgraded tires. Um, but yeah, I think I think all of our models come in under 82 inches. What's your guys' warranty for Hiker? Anything that we make is warranted for a year. Okay. Um, seals and paints and chips and stuff like that are only for about 90 days, obviously. Sure. Um, and then any of the vendors that we work with, we pass along whatever they warranty. They have whatever they have. Yeah, and they're um, obviously that as well. And yeah. we can either try to play customer service in between if customers would like, but a lot of the relationships we have with our vendors, we kind of expect them to have the same quality customer and, service. And not having do. dealers everywhere, right? So. Do you have a recommended list of people that, again, I don't think your stuff's going to Sure. But if they had to and they're in Florida or they're in Oregon, you know, have, can you tell them who they have to get service from? Kind of uh, yeah, if, if, so if somebody is needed. far away and it is definitely a warranty issue that we can diagnose remotely, sure. we would find somebody local to help. Uh, we would we would bet a local guy to you know, okay. come out and fix the problem. Or in the past, we don't prefer to do it, but we have to ship trailers back. If they had to, yeah. The area is good and, How long has Hiker so, been doing all this? Um, funny you should ask. Um, on Friday, we announced we built our 2500 unit. Nice. Um, in April, and um, Hiker's been around for about 10 years. Okay. Uh, give or take. And, and, um, 2500 units on the road, each one custom. It's been. Uh, I don't think we've built the same trailer twice this so year. So With all those options, it's kind of to, And people do uh, come to the factory to do tours, yeah. that sort of thing? Yeah, we can tour the factory. We've got a little kind of makeshift showroom there. Um, we do virtual tours as well because sure. it is hard to get to some of our locations for some folks. Um, so you know, we can call in on the iPad and walk you around, answer the questions, show you all the different colors you can choose from. Yeah, it's it's well done, man. You guys have had a real good yeah. success. Thank You're a big part of that. Um, Anything else comes up, we'll reach out. Yeah, please. We're, Appreciate we're it. Didn't mean to take that much time, but it's a really good job. That's what we do. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks. It, guys. Thank you, guys.